hey guys i'm back today with another video but today i will be showing you guys how to slay in under five minutes with no glue and no baby hair so let's go now this unit i will be showing you guys today is brought to you by the company my first wig this is the aries blunt bob wig this one is in the length 12 inches it's 130 percent in density this is a cap size one and it does come with your standard cap construction which is two combs on the side a comb in the back your adjustable strap and they also included an elastic band also will not have to worry about plucking out your hairline because it already comes pre-plucked look how good that looks and the knots are already bleached now on the website you do have the options to choose between light bleach and deep bleach just taking my time cutting off this lace those short hairs in the front just kept falling in my face and i should have used the flyaway tamer to help control them and push it back but i wasn't thinking so i'm making sure to not cut off any extra hair or cut off too much lace this is the transparent swiss lace and i love their lace because it's very easy to blend in you don't have to worry about putting in too much work and i also like that even in natural sunlight it's pretty undetectable now, even though this is a lace front, you get a very good amount of parting space. It's versatile. You don't have to worry about just parting it in the middle. You can part it on the side. And the parting space is pretty open, so you don't have to worry about going in and plucking out any hairs. I mean, pretty much they done everything for you. So I'm going to be using this flyaway tamer, which you can purchase on the website. And I'm just going to run that over the top. I'm just going to opt for a nice, simple, sleek middle part. And then I'm just going in with my Kendra's Boutique hot comb just to kind of press everything out. I'm going to go around the front of the hairline, but I really don't have to do too much when it comes to the front of it. I just needed to make sure that the top was going to be laid down. We don't want it looking humpy. Next, I'm going to go in and press out this hair, and I am using my Kaposi flat iron that you can purchase on Amazon. It's very affordable, and it gets the job done. You guys see how quick that was. Now you can purchase this unit in the silky texture. However, I absolutely love their yakky texture units. I just love the way it feels. Very easy to maintain and it's perfect for every day. I just love the realistic look. So I always go for the yakky. I'm gonna put a little powder into the parting space and also just a little bit around the hairline. As you guys can see, the parting space just looks a little bit dark and that's because I do have a darker cap, but I also wanna open it up just a little bit more and you know, step it up another notch and you see how wide and open it looks now. And then just slightly around the hairline. Now I did have to push my wig cap back because when I had it up at the very front, you could see the wig cap through the lace and that's a big no-no. So that's how nice and thin this lace is. Now to top off this look, I'm gonna go in with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. This is going to help protect the hair against freeziness and flyaways. There were some shorter flyaway pieces within the very front and also at the top that the wax stick just would not lay down. So this definitely helped it out. And it is offered in the length 10, 12, and 14. I feel like this length is perfect for every day. I love how the flow is like stiff wear, stiff wear, wear. No stiffness here. And for only 130%, I feel like this density is perfect. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. This unit laid down very flat with no issues. I only had to put a little bit of heat and I didn't feel like I had to do it too many times. Now the parting space on this is perfect, especially once I added that powder in, I had no issues. And then as far as the hairline goes, like it looks good to me. I feel like they did a good job plucking it out. Now you can go in and do a little bit of extra if you want to, but for a beginner who just wants to wear this straight out of the box, I feel like you are good to go. If you feel like your wig is not secure, but you still want the glueless look, definitely check into a wig grip and that's going to keep it in place. So guys, let me know what you think about this bob if you are feeling it. I'm gonna make sure to leave the details down below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.